Greetings, and welcome to the Southern Food and Beverage Museum. I'm Brent Rosen, museum president, and we are so excited to have you join us today for Hay Sugar, our sweet virtual event. Hay Sugar has been something we've been working on for a few months, and it's really exciting to be able to bring out some of these wonderful bakers and other friends and, and museum family members, like Poppy Tooker and Barbara Rodriguez, who we have here with us. And we encourage you to tune in for the rest of the day. Uh, we'll be posting more videos as the day goes on, and all of them will feature some of the best in fall baking, cooking, and cocktails. Poppy, how are you today? I am so excited to be <laughs> here for this event because I kind of have a sweet tooth, you know. It's a danger on a day like today to have a sweet tooth because I have a feeling we're going to be eating a lot of sweets. And Barbara, what are you making today? So today I'm making uh, brown butter maple uh, cookies uh, with a nice little uh, bourbon and maple glaze. Mmm! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just can't wait to see how you do this. What, what an exciting thing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, perfect for fall, all the fun fall flavors. So. <laughs> now, Barbara, you were actually the pastry chef at GW Finn. I was, I was. <laughs> Give us a hit parade of some of the yummy things we might have tasted when you were doing that work. Um, well, definitely everybody knows the Salty Malty. That's, uh, you know, the ever popular mm. love dessert over there. It's so good. <laughs> um, and then we do uh, the chocolate bomb for all the chocolate lovers. Um, and then uh, just during, you know, different seasons, we do fun berry desserts or um, I did a eggnog panna cotta one like winter so fun little desserts that like is a yeah. great <laughs> idea for the holidays right. eggplant panna cotta or uh, eggnog yeah. oh <laughs> oh that's right it right. uh, 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 sounds the same eggnog yeah. panna well i'd like an eggplant panna cotta too yeah, that know. isn't entirely a bad idea maybe you'll share that recipe with us too sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> not a problem well, good. I'm so excited. Yeah. Well, Barbara, we're going to let you get started, and we're going to get out of your way, and we're really excited to see what you whip up. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. We'll All be right. watching, and I'll be back for eating, okay? All right. All right. All right. Thanks. Good morning, you guys. Um, hope y'all are doing well. Excited to share uh, this fun little recipe with you guys today. Um, it has a few of my favorite things, uh, brown butter being one of them. I'm going to show you uh, how to do that today. Um, so I'm going to start by, get, by getting this pan really hot. Um, I like to get it really hot. You can start slow if you're, if this is your first time um, doing it and you don't want to rush the process, but I like to get it nice and hot. So, and then right here I have a stick of butter um, and a tablespoon. Um, so once our pan is nice and hot, I'm going to throw our butter in there. All right, you guys, so if you really want to get a room to smell good, brown some butter, trust me. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to get this melted down. Um, I have it nice and hot. Make sure you use a big um, pan just to give yourself enough room because it is going to bubble up. Um, and it can get scary when it does that, so give yourself enough room. <laughs> and then you do want to um, mix it and stir it so we're breaking down those milk solids. So it's going to start to bubble up first, um, and then those milk solids are going to start to brown. Um, you're going to smell it. Um, it's a really like nutty, fantastic flavor. I mean, smell. Um, so you'll definitely be able to tell. And then we'll pull it off. Yeah. So this is our little frothy bubbles here. Oh, magic is about to happen. <laughs> All right, I see it's starting to brown a little bit. Well, I can definitely smell it now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off now. I don't know if you can see, but we have some uh, brown butter. <laughs> All right. So you w might want to let that cool down for a minute just so you don't burn yourself. Um, but I like to set it in a little um, bowl and then throw it in the fridge for just a second if you want to um, make the process a little quicker. Because we do want it to come um, cool down and then just get soft again, a little bit uh, solid. So I'm going to just right here actually. Right. 
so that is our brown butter. <laughs> All right, I have some cooled here. It's the tables, uh, a stick and a tablespoon, and then I have um, a room temperature, half a stick of butter. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that straight into the mixer. That's all those uh, milk solids we're looking for, all that fun brown stuff. All right. So um, I'm going ahead and start creaming that just a little bit. I'm gonna add, um, I have a one cup of um, packed dark brown domino sugar. I'm going straight into the mixer. All right, and I'll let that mix for about a minute, um, about medium high, until it's all nice and creamed and a little fluffy. All right, looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the sides down, make sure you're doing that, um, so everything is nice and incorporated. Um, but this is what it should look like. Gonna scrape down the sides. And then we're gonna add the egg. So that's an egg um, and a yolk. that for about a minute. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add all our wet ingredients. Um, one teaspoon of maple extract. So then we're gonna add a teaspoon of um, pure vanilla extract. Um, and then a third a cup of maple syrup. So then we're gonna just mix that a little bit to get everything nice and incorporated and we'll mix, or uh, we'll scrape down the bowl one more time. All right, and now we're gonna do all of our dry ingredients. So I have here uh, two cups and a third of um, all-purpose flour. I have um, two tablespoons of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of baking soda. And we'll get all that in there. We'll whisk it together. Make sure it's all nice and incorporated. All right. So I think in order to do this without making a huge mess, I'm going to take it out. <laughs> I'm 
And we'll just dump it straight in there. Definitely keep a towel handy. <laughs> all right, we'll make that on low, just until it all comes together. All right, and I have um, three quarters cup of uh, chopped pecans. Um, it's kind of up to you how much, how little or much you want to use, um, but I'm going with three quarters of a cup. And then we'll just mix that. All right, it's all done. All right, and this is what your dough looks like. <laughs> All right. So now we'll go ahead. Um, I like to use a scoop so my cookies come out nice and um, all around the same size. Um, so I'm going to use this guy. I'm going to scrape the bowl down just one more time to make sure it's all mixed in together. Use this guy, pop it straight on here. All right, so we're just gonna scoop these right onto the pan. And I do like to put them in the cooler for about five minutes, um, five to six minutes, so they set up nice um, before we throw them in the, in the oven. I'm gonna fit about 12 on here. All right, you guys, so we've chilled these for about uh, two minutes. Um, for the sake of time, um, preferably I'd like to leave them six to eight minutes in the cooler. Um, I will help them along. I'm going to just kind of push them down a little bit before they go in the oven. So I have the oven set at 350. Um, if you have a convection oven, even better. Um, that's what I like to work with. Um, so we're just going to pop these in the oven now for about 10, 11, 12 minutes if you like them soft. All right, and while those are baking, um, we can jump straight into uh, the icing. So I have a cup of confectioner sh co um, powdered sugar here. Um, we're gonna do maple syrup, and if you wanna spike it, we can do a little bourbon. That's my choice, but you know. <laughs> so we're gonna brown off a little bit uh, more butter, because you really can't have enough. So we're gonna get that hot again, and then we'll pop that butter in real quick. Yeah, and don't forget to set a timer so those uh, cookies don't get away from you. All right. So we're going to brown this butter again. Yeah, and this recipe has been a fan favorite uh, amongst family and friends, so I hope you guys enjoy it as much as um, my, my friends do and family. I get so excited when it's like close to turning brown and then, then that smell hits, it's so good. <laughs> All right. So I do have this um, cup of powdered sugar set aside right here. 
and I'm just going to dump it straight in. Then we're going to do a third of a cup of maple syrup. We'll go ahead and mix that. I'm starting to get that uh, icing. Then if you want to thin it out, you can use a little bit of water. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of bourbon today. I'm going to do a tablespoon. I will just mix it up and we'll set it aside um, for when the cookies come out and are nice and cooled and we can go ahead and glaze our cookies. All right, you guys, I think our, red, our cookies are ready. They've been in for about 11 minutes. Pretty good. And I like them soft, um, so I leave them in for about 11 minutes. Um, but if you do like them crunchy, you could leave them in a little bit longer. But this is what these guys look like. All right, so we're gonna let these cool um, before you glaze them, because if not, it'll probably run off. Um, so I don't use any particular method. Um, but um, let me get these out of the way. All right, so definitely use a spatula so you don't burn yourself for anything. Um, so I just take this with a whisk. You can use a spoon or a nifty trick is a tall glass and a little Ziploc bag. Um, just pour it kind of into the corner and then cut the tip off and you have a little, little piping bag. Um, or you can just do the at-home version like I do. <laughs> and then we just glaze it like that. All right, and that's our cookie. So this is what they end up looking like in the end. Barbara, did I, did I hear you say those cookies are done? They are. Don't it smell fantastic? It does. <laughs> are you going to ice them? Yes. Once these are nice and cooled down, we'll, we'll go ahead and glaze them. Um, and then they'll end up looking like that. <gasps> mm. <laughs> well, I am the taste tester here. Help yourself, please. So, okay. So let's see. How about some icing for me? Okay. All right. Let's go so, all the way with this. All right. So let's, I like to use this, um, this right here, so everything, you know. Yeah, I know, nice I'm, I'm the bad actor. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the eager cookie consumer. There we go. All well, right. these look so just these are beautiful. nice and warm still. Right. Oh, this is the big payoff. <laughs> mm, Good stuff, I think. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I want these on my Thanksgiving dinner table. Awesome. And I want these in my Christmas cookies, too. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. It's it been was a pleasure. so much fun. <laughs> Thanks, and don't y'all go anywhere because we've got a lot more very sweet content for you coming up, so stay tuned. Mm. <laughs> Yum.